Right, so now we're on the second island, we're now going to take on the first level of the second island, which is up the creek. Now this one you can get a gem for on the first go, so that's exactly what I'm going to be going for. And, yeah, a bit of simple and easy invincibility. However, though, I am dealing with a bit of frame drops. Please, game, don't screw me. I don't want to have to do this level several times because I get frame drops while recording. It's it's almost fine without it, but it's just a bit annoying. That's all. Yeah, it's a bit pointless, but you know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Frame drop for the loss. Uh, frame drop. Hello. Can we not have a frame drop? There we go, just needed a pause. So we'll go on the next one. Yeah, for some reason going out invincibility, especially on this level, of course, is a bit of a frame drop. Don't blame me, blame the emulator. Come on, go, 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 go. Thank you. Now, there are Torna things here. Now, with these monkeys, you have to be a bit cautious with them. They can't, they are, they do have a tendency to hit you. Now, we've got to be a bit careful here. With these river, with these water, river levels, you do have to play very cautiously and very passive if you want to get the gem from it. It does require a bit of patience, which some people do have, some people don't. In that one, you have to let yourself fall, and then yeah, you can go on normally. Just don't try and force the game to do your work, which is it isn't good to force the game. Because the game will always punish you for that. Especially with these monkeys. Oh shoot, I completely messed the time up. Wait, now. Ah, this frame drop, man, it's not helping, not helping at all, especially if the, if it goes to the um, thing which I'm not going to like, which is going to come up right now, I think. Which is this bit. Getting this is quite hard, especially if you're dealing with a bit of frame drop. Because of that little bounce right there. Now, I think it's back here. If not, we can just go around again. Here it is. No! Ah, oh, damn it. Well, it looks like we'll be getting this off screen then. Because the frame drops are making it a bit unbearable to go back and try again. I mean, just look at that, that's kind of bull crap. Um, but anyway. Just gonna play, like. Like, we're just gonna complete the level now. It's not, it's not really important. There'll be two boxes underneath the thing, which can be a bit difficult. God, I just got it. Here's your second tournament. Always helpful. Plus, anyway, I won't have much frame lag during the um, off off camera, so I will have a better chance of getting it. I did get this on the pra I did get the gem on the practice file within one take. When I'm not on recording, so it's obviously just like recording curves. Anyway, your third tone is right here. 
In terms of what you have to do for this bonus round, it's not really that much. Yeah, if you if you know what you're doing. Done. And that's it. Ah, uh, 26%. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's just, it's gonna be much easier to, um, complete this game once you start getting the colored gems, which won't appear, well, actually, no, the, next, the first one's coming up soon. So we will get our chance at getting that. And yeah, it, it only helps for one thing, which is annoying, but it's not like it's a uh, game over. No, I can't get that one, I have to wait for the leaf to come back. Go now. Oh no, that's wrong, I did. Oh, I got it. <sighs> but anyway. In the next video, we're going to be playing Ripper Roo, and also, if we get it done quickly, we're going to be playing the next level as well, along with it. So I'll see you guys then for that. It's going to be an extra long one, and it's going to be a good one, so don't miss it.